Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into the world of digital communication and uncovering the importance of MIME types. If you've ever wondered what a MIME type is and how to declare one, you're in the right place. To begin with, let's understand what MIME types are and what's all about. MIME, which stands for Multipurpose Internet Mail Extension, is a vital technology for identifying and interpreting different types of data files in the digital world. MIME types are like labels used to identify specific data types. They consist of a type and subtype, and they can also include suffixes and parameters. For instance, the MIME type for a PDF file is application slash PDF, where application is the type and PDF is the subtype. The syntax for MIME types follows a standardized format as defined by the Internet Assigned Number Authority, or YANA. It includes the type, subtype, suffixes and parameters. Think of it this way. When a server says this is an application slash PDF, the client understands that it needs to open the associated PDF program which is installed on the user's device. So this is how MIME types help in correct data handling. Now let's talk about where MIME types are stored in the Windows operating system. In Windows, MIME types are stored in the registry and there are two main locations, the machine level database and the user level database. We have talked in the past that you have the HK local machine and HK current user, where technically both of them are combined in the HK classes root. Now, if we go along and search on the HK local machine part, we will see that we have this uh, path here, the local machine, software, classes, MIME and database. If you explore the classes tree, you'll find the file extension and its associated program all tied to the MIME types. For example, if I go into content type and you know we talked about the PDF, you can see here you have the application slash PDF and this is assigned to a specific class, uh, a class ID that is then linked to Adobe PDF. Now let's discuss how to handle MIME types using Advanced Installer. Advanced Installer simplifies the process of declaring MIME types for specific file extensions. All that you need to do is go into your uh, project page, go to File Associations, and now you can click on a new extension. Of course, you will need to select your application, which will handle this extension. And if you go here, you will see that you have the uh, option to define the MIME type. For example, application slash PDF. It's that easy. Advanced Installer takes care of the registration process, including in the Windows registry. In conclusion, MIME types are crucial for seamless digital communication and data handling. They allow different programs to interpret and handle specific file types accurately. Tools like Advanced Installer make it even simpler to declare and manage MIME types within your package. Now that's all for today and if you found this information helpful, don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more tech related content. If you have any questions or want to share your experiences with MIME types, please leave a comment down below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.